We are glad you're here today. We are blessed that God has reached down and saved the soul of Tommy Stamps. Amen? Amen. And so we have uh, some scripture we want to make sure that you always understand uh, what biblical baptism is. And so uh, in the book of Matthew, Jesus Christ, as always, he sets the example for us. And so um, <clears throat> he uh, is dealing with John the Baptist in Matthew chapter 3. And uh, Jesus came to John the Baptist in Matthew chapter 3, verse 13. It says, Then came Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him or by him. But John forbid him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me with a question mark. Jesus answering said to him, Suffer it to be so now, which means allow it to be so now. For this it becomes us to fulfill all righteousness. And then he suffered him, and other words, he allowed him to baptize him. Jesus, when he was baptized, went straightway up out of the water. Now let me stop right there and make sure you understand the reason we read that. Is as he is immersed. Baptism means to immerse someone, Amen. not sprinkle. Amen. Amen. Amen? And so he came straightway up out of the water, and lo, the heavens were open unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. So uh, obeying the instructions of God, when it comes to baptism, we'll get a blessing from the Lord. And so then Romans chapter 6, uh, the Apostle Paul wants to explain a little more about baptism. And so he says, what shall we say then in chapter 6, verse 1? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer there, therein? Know you not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus, were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we've been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man, in other words, the man of the past, the man before you were saved, is crucified with him. In other words, that lifestyle, that man is, is put to death that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin, in other words, be a slave to sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once, and that he lives, he lives unto God. Likewise reckon you also yourselves, to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on in here, Brother Tommy. Isn't this great? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Let me scoot you up this way. I don't want your head to tear something up in here. Amen. I love you, Tommy. I love you too, brother. Tommy Sims, by your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hey. 